Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a manga collection tour. Um, I haven't done one of these in a little bit. I know it's been three months, and usually that's not a lot of time for manga collections. But I like to update you guys every time I change around a bit and reorganize stuff and add a few things to the shelf. So, yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Also, quick announcement, I am uploading on my gaming channel more now. And I am trying to get that up and running, so if you're interested in seeing any, like, game reviews or first-person shooting gameplay, go check it out. Um, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy making that. And, yeah, so, let's get back to the video. Alrighty, so beginning up top, I have Dragon Ball Volumes 1 through to 16. Dragon Ball is an amazing series, and I recommend everyone goes and checks it out. It does come in a box set, which I'll show you in a minute. But, yeah. Then down here, I have this little dragon figurine. It's from a series called Bakugan, if anyone knows what that is. But, yeah. Just fits this sort of vibe on this little shelf. Then right here I have both of my box sets, my Dragon Ball and my Silent Voice box set. And my little pop figure of Jacob Fry. Alrighty, so next up I have Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1. And 20th Century Boys Volume 1. The 20th Century Boys first volume is in the Perfect Edition which is a compilation of the first two volumes, I believe, of the single volumes. And that was just a very good volume to read through, so... Yeah, it's very high quality, definitely check it out if you are interested in a more sane and dark story. Then I have Villain Saga Volumes 1 through 3. Very awesome series, I need to pick up more of it, it's just a bit expensive to pick them up because they're in the hardcovers, but... It's whatever. Then I have the Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal Editions Volume 1 and 2. I still need to collect more of that, it's just not on my priority since it is pretty expensive for the size of the volumes and what I'm getting in them. So I'll probably try and get them on sale at some point. Now next up, and the last thing on the shelf, I have volumes 1 through 19 of Haikyuu. This is my favourite series and a lot of you know that if you've been on my channel for a while. Um, but yeah, there's not much I can really say about this apart from definitely check it out, it is an amazing series. And then quickly right here, I have a little Gyarados figure. I got him in a pop, oh, not a pop vinyl, in a Pokemon box set, I think, as a little side figure. So pretty cool, just sits on this little shelf. But yeah, let's get to the next. Alrighty, so down here I have Golden Kamui Volumes 1 and 2, Demon Slayer Volume 1. Didn't really enjoy that volume. You can check out my review I made for that. Just very disappointed in it. Dock Stone Volumes 1 through 3, would recommend reading that. Your Line April Volumes 1 through 3, definitely underrated manga, everyone should check that out as well. Promised Neverland Volumes 1 through 7, very much enjoy this series, plan to pick up more. Black Clover Volumes 1 through 8, very, very amazing series, Black Clover, I really enjoy the action, just an awesome show and manga. Then I have Silent Voice Volumes 1 through 7, beautiful story, beautiful artwork, just an amazing sort of sad trope story. Written by Yoshitoki Oima. Definitely one of the best of its sort of genre that I've read. Um, would recommend everyone pick it up in the box set. Then Dragon Ball Z Volume 1. And Magi Volume 1. And now I just have this little Shoto Todoroki pop vinyl. So that's that shelf. Just to get it out of the way, this is my Harry Potter shelf. I've got books 4 through 7 and then some extra books. And then i got a little Harry Potter pop vinyl right there and a little plant fake plant because I would not be able to take care of a real plant but yeah that's that shelf I do own the other three books but don't have them currently loaning them out to someone so now this is my last shelf of my collection I do have Naruto volumes 1 and 3 in this 3 in 1 edition not very good quality definitely would say pick it up in the box set if you're going to read Naruto then I have Boruto volume 1 knocked over my figure I have the Obito pop vinyl or like Toby pop figure, One Punch Man Volume 1, MHA Volume 1, didn't really like my Academia, I have Fire Force Volume 1 and Blue Exorcist Volume 1. Then I have a bunch of these games, um, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm. This game, I don't know if any of you would know about it, but it's like a cricket game if any of you know what that sport is. Uh, then I have Assassin's Creed Syndicate, I have Star Wars Battlefront. I have Battlefield 1, I have Black Ops 3, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, I really did like Ghosts, underrated game, uh, but it does 
get a lot of hate. I also have Modern Warfare 2 in this case, because I lost the case for that. Then I have Skate 3. But yeah, that's my whole collection, so we'll just get to the outro. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe on. Turn on the post notifications, leave any anime, manga, or video game recommendations down in the comment section below. Um, planning to do more gaming videos on my gaming channel, so definitely go check that out. Uh, I do have weekly uploads on this channel. And yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to say. Anyway, I hope you've had a good day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe subscribe to my channel, and peace.